What's up guys, Boyle96HD here, and yes, I'm back after a whatever week break, laptop is back before, I hope, so the videos are back up, watching the BPL team of the year was out two days ago, and yeah, it looks really sweet, anyway, today I'm reviewing team of the season, Parker, and the uh, most consistent team of the year, really nice stats on him there, as you can see, cost me 50,000, and his highlight has to be his 86 passing, really good player, and I definitely recommend uh, buying him. I'm just trying to show you what he costs now on the market, but uh, for 50k, I don't think you can really go wrong. So I'll show you what he costs in the market, a few in game stats, and a bit of uh, clips for him. So how he's all doing, how has been your week, and all that. Uh, the exams coming up in England GCSEs. Hope you all get on well that are uh, doing that, I suppose. So yeah, uh, personally myself for the week, I've been doing fuck all. I've been out with a few of the lads playing football and all that sort of malarkey, but otherwise I've uh, been doing nothing. Anyway, as on the market you can see here, they're all varying from around 50 to 60k, and it's roughly what he's going for, and definitely worth the money. So I will show you the stats now, as you see. Uh, f fair few good stats, 89 ball control, 81 crossing, good curve, dribbling's uh, 83, finishing is 82. Uh, really nice stat is going to be 89 long pass and 87 long shots. And to back up that long pa or the long shot, you have the 90 shot power as well. Only three star skills and three star weak foot, but you know he's not known as a skiller really in real life, is he? So I can't really complain. Uh, good aggression there is 97, and is a really really good tackler in game. So this is a few goals I've got with him. What I've been playing with him, uh, I've been playing him in a cam position at the moment, I'm not sure, or centre mid, a bit of both. I've been switching around formations, and he's really his shot is really rocket like as you're going to see throughout the video. Anyway, today's topic I'm going to talk about is uh, the BPL team of the year, yes. What do you think, and as you can see, I'll leave a link below on it, but the main players are in it are going to be the likes of Rooney, Van Persie, Bale, Yaya, Silva, eh, Valencia, then left-back you have Bain, centre-back you have Company, Colasini, right-back you have Kyle Walker, and in goals, Joe Hart. Then the likes of the bench players are, da -da -da, I think there's Clint Dempsey there, there's Mata, Tim Cruel. Uh, who else is there? Mike Williams or Ashley Williams even? And yeah, there's a few of them I can forget to rest. But um, is there any players that you think that should have been in there instead of other players? In my opinion, I don't think Matt should have got it. He hasn't done fantastically all season. I'd love to see Alex Song in there. Definitely deserves his first performances for Arsenal. He's been uh, he's been a real uh, big part in Arsenal season. Although I know they're doing fuck all, but they are third at the same time, and he's been playmaking RVP all season. I think he should have been in there. With a few others, then Michael Carrick had a good season. Don't know if he's team of the year worthy, but if you put Matt in there, he's definitely up along with that. Otherwise, I can't complain much about it. I really can't wait to get Leighton Baines. He's one of my favourite players in real life. And apparently his in-game stats are sick, so I can't wait to try him. But uh, back on to Parker. As you can see, a fairly good player and definitely worth the 50k. Um, he out of ten, I'd rate him. I think a seven, seven out of ten. I think the letdown is a fair small bit of letdown on pace. And his yeah, that's about it. Pace and dribbling is not fantastic, but otherwise he actually does a good bust of pace. But for a midfielder, it's okay. But I like fast players, so I gotta be honest. That's all that I let down. His pace lets down a small bit, and his dribbling isn't fantastic. But you can play him in a defensive role and an attacking role. He can do both really well. And yeah, that's really it, lads. Team of the Year Parker review. Uh, hope I'm glad to talk to you all again. Glad to come back. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter at boy96hd. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you do enjoy the videos. Peace and goodbye.